against Wakefield Trinity left Hull fielded a team much weakened by injuries in the Rugby League Cup final at Wembley. The referee spun the coin. Derek Turner was mistaken, so Hull had choice of ends. Wakefield kicked off, playing from right to left. This was Hull's second successive visit to Wembley. Wigan beat them last year. Better luck now, maybe, though Wakefield was strong favourites. And oh, what a bad start for Hull, penalised in the second minute. Left centre, three-quarter, Neil Fox, a great kicker, put the ball beautifully between the posts. Wakefield's reserve halfback, Ken Rollin, now seemed to be a match for the whole Hull defence. No mistake about it, Rollin was over the line. So in five minutes, Wakefield led 5-0, but not for long. Hull three-quarter, Stanley Cowan scored a fine try. Sam Evans added the goal points, Hull were level. To general surprise, Hull were holding their own. It was hard lines for them after that goal to be penalised again. Fox made no mistake with the kick, so Wakefield led by the narrow margin of 2.75 at the interval. But in the second half, it was Wakefield Trinity first, Hull nowhere. Though they were still full of fight and gave Trinity short shrift whenever possible. But Wakefield now had the bit between their teeth. A good pass found their South African right centre, Alan Skeen. And there was no stopping him. Now Wakefield's skipper, Derek Turner, passed to Holiday, And that speedy halfback was much too fast for the defenders. Fox converted, and at this stage, Wakefield led 18-5. Hull's big handicap since half-time was that Tom Harris was hurt, little more than a passenger. But look at Wakefield, playing superb textbook rugby. In possession was Keith Holliday. Yes, Holliday scored. Again, Fox's aim was true, and the try was converted. What a moment for Derek Turner and his Wakefield teammates. Her Majesty there to present the cup they'd won by the record Wembley score of 38-5. Bravo Wakefield Trinity, great winners of the Rugby League Cup.